Hey guys, it's Dee. I hope you guys are doing well. As you can see, I'm in a different location today. Um, the craft room that I usually film in is dark. Well, I mean, the sun has already set, so it's just dark in general. So um, I thought maybe the game room might work a little better. There's a light up here and then another light here and um, it still looks really dark but I hope you guys don't mind because I really wanted to show you guys what I got. This is just a mixture of things from the thrift store, estate sale, and Target. So let's get started. So I went to the family thrift and I found another one of these Santas. I don't know if you guys remember last year. I found I think the exact same one. Maybe even the exact same price. $2.92. Um, so you know, I couldn't leave them behind. On the bottom it says, oh no, on the back it says General Plastic Corp 1968, made in the USA. Oh, not General, I'm sorry, Empire Plastic. I don't know why I said General. So there is Mr. Santa. And it came with a cord and I plugged it in and it works. Okay, um, at an estate sale, I picked up a brand new bag of glue sticks. Now, you guys have to tell me if you know if there's a shelf life on glue sticks because I recently tried to use um, some glue sticks that I picked up at an estate sale as well and I felt like it wasn't sticking as well, but maybe it was just that brand of glue stick. I didn't think that, I mean, I, I figured that this would be able to last forever, but um, who knows? But let me know if you know. This is all temperatures made in the USA. So I don't know, maybe. At that same estate sale, I found this box of floral tape. Um, I got it because I do want to make some corsages when I get some free time, but I mainly got it because, you know, it was in this new box um, with the price tag still on it and um, it hasn't been opened. So that's why I picked that up. And then there's this, um, what's her name? Mary Englebright, I think it's how you say it. Just a little like trinket box and it's taped together because there are just some stick pins inside. Let's see if I can open it and show you without spilling. There, just some pins in there. And um, I, have pins somewhere, but you know, when you have to find something, you can never find it. So I figured if I got a brightly colored box and something that stuck out, I will be able to find it easier. If not, you guys can remind me where my stick pins are. So there's that. There is this book. I have hauled this book before. It's basically stencils. Um, okay, so let's see. So like that and they're school themed. And I thought that the images were really cool. This is the only one that looks like it is not punched out. So I will use those images and, oh, this one isn't used either. It's the musical one. So there's that. And then I think the rest of them are used. So. I don't think I'll be using them as stencils, but I thought that it would go well like um, in a school themed box, like as the background or like as a filler or something. Um, it's a bunch of different colors. Anyway, I just saw some crafting potential, so that's why I picked it up. So there's that booklet. And then in this little container here, let's see if I can get it open. It is... I think I'll just rip the bag. Um, there is a box of glitter or jars of glitter and she put it in here so that it wouldn't tell. So let's see. Yeah, two dollars for the whole thing. So we have this one here. We have this ultra fine glitter here. We have this silver one. We have this container. There's this one. It's bronze and I really like this one. It's the same as these two guys because um, the bottles are glass. So there's the bronze and then oh here's a gold one with that same brand. And then there's these two guys that are 
in these tall tubes, a silver and a gold. So all of those glitters for $2. Okay, this beautiful stocking, I think I found this at Goodwill. And I got it because I really like the stocking and I know someone took a lot of time to make it. But I thought that maybe I could peel out this um, Logan. But I've been trying to peel it and it is stuck on there. So I'm gonna try my um, like the, my craft heated gun, which is like a hotter temperature, I think, than um, like a hair dryer. So I'm gonna see, I just don't wanna ruin the rest of it. I don't know, I, I guess I'm afraid it might melt and get everywhere, but who knows? Um, Cause I thought maybe that would loosen the bond a little bit, but it is tightly bonded. So I don't know, maybe I won't be able to, and I don't know, maybe I'll just pass it on <laughs> and maybe somebody else who knows a Logan might be able to use it. Um, there was this book, it's by Jack London, South Sea Tales. Um, you know, the binding's not in the best condition, seen better days, but the pages are perfectly yellowed and I just like how that looked. So I think maybe this is gonna come apart and I could craft with it. Um, and I, I was thinking maybe I should try to read it before, so um, we'll see if I get to it. Um, otherwise, um, I thought that was a good crafting type book. And then I found this huge binder of embroidery floss for $5. Oh, I just lost something. So... I don't do embroidery, although I would love to, but um, I know other people do, and I thought this might be a good thing to try to sell. Oh, there's some patterns that fell out. So I think this, did I say it was $5? Um, it was $5. And then I found this at the thrift store. Um, I think, so this is the sun, and this is the star, and it's like a, oops. <laughs> the bottom fell off, but it's just a screw. So it's just like, I want to say this is brass, and then is that like painted over? So there's this guy here. Um, he's the sun, and then this is what the base looks like. Anyway, they're candlesticks. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought they were really cool. Um, I'm going to try to sell these. I think someone would really like them. I think they're bronze and painted, or... I don't know, I think bronze. If you guys know, otherwise, let me know. Okay, and then I found this at an estate sale. It's sort of like a handmade, I think it's handmade mug, and it has a tail at the end of it, and it was a dollar. So great price, great mug. I think I should be able to sell this one. And then there was another mug. This one is marked, it says Fox B, and this is what it looks like. More whales, I think these are sperm whales. So a good nice size, that's what the inside looks like, it's glazed. So I think this might have been a dollar too, although the tag's not on. And then there were these two pottery pieces. I think they you stick them in plants, like as a decoration piece. Um, either way, um, I just liked how they look. And so I picked those up. And then this was at the Goodwill bins, I believe. They are these little um, light covers and they're plastic. They're not marked. I don't know the age. I tried the lights and um, some of them were working, some of them weren't. So I just took the covers. There's like eight of them, I think. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, there's eight little um, pumpkin guys and I was happy to find that. There's this set of postcards. Oh, you guys can see the reflection. Um, it's by Hallmark. There's not a date. It says, may the love of the little Lord Jesus be with you at Christmas and always. And it was 99 cents. I kind of almost want to send these out. They're so pretty. Um, 
so there it is and another another set also hallmark yeah to wish you a happy holiday season so this one's an owl with a stocking and a pine cone and this is what the back looks like what else do we have here oh so the last couple of things are target so here are some bottle brush trees that I picked up. So if you guys are looking for some, Target has them in their bullseye playground, I think it's called, um, for $3, you get all of those. For $3, you get three of the bigger ones. They're a little smushed. And then you get taller ones here. And then in this color, the smaller ones. That is it for my haul, guys. Um, I hope you don't mind the lighting and the change of location. Let me know down below what you guys liked. Um, if you like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. And um, I'll probably have another video coming up tomorrow with a putz house. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.